Okay guys, let's see how we can easily see all the changes that uh, our colleagues might be making so they are not rewriting our changes while working in um, shared GitHub repository. This is the remote repository and our colleague is actually removing certain parts of the code. Let's say emptying this information from the section and committing the changes. Okay, so let's go to our Visual Studio code. And here we have the old version of the code. Let's say that we also make certain uh, changes to the file. So we are writing just simple HTML and uh, that's our file now. If we go and click on fetch, we can see that immediately here incoming from the origin master or the remote repository, we see that we'll have one file changed. And if we click on this file, we can see what exactly has been changed by our colleague. So all those lines have been uh, deleted, but everything else is being kept in place. So we can decide right now whether this information is important for us and can just pull it immediately. That's a very nice preview with this uh, fetch button here that we can see just before making our commit what is the latest on the uh, shared remote repository so we can uh, have the latest information of our code before making our commit. For this case, we decide to pull the information and we'll see that uh, we'll have an errors and that's because we have certain lines that will be overwritten by this change. They're advising us to commit the changes, stash them or just revert them uh, before making this merge, before grabbing the information from the origin master. Okay, so after having previewed all the files, knowing that they are compatible with uh, our functionality, we are now more sure that we would like to keep the code as uh, we see it right now. So this will be the final version of the code. So that's why uh, we can create one commit with fix over the functionality. And we create this commit right now. Before clicking on the commit, we will add uh, this file that we would like to stage. And we see that in our local master here, immediately we see uh, the changes that we made. And from the local master, we're trying to push it to the remote repository, which is the origin master. So we'll click on this button push. And we see that uh, we have a problem and that's because we just fetched the latest information. The changes are not merged to our branch. So what can we do now is to click on the pull from the master branch. And this will create, of course, a merge conflict. You don't need to worry about this. This is just showing that this information here, this is our, and on the server, we have this information here. So it's the incoming change. And we need to choose whether to keep the server version or both of them, or just to compare them. And uh, we also have a choice to do so in uh, merge editor. So we click on this merge editor and we see what's going on again on the server. As you can see, everything is deleted by our colleague. Here is our version. Let's say that uh, this time you will accept my version here. We'll override our colleagues settings or actually we can accept both all the changes from the left and all the changes from the right. And uh, this will create this merged version. Let's say that some of the things we don't need right now, so we can even edit in place here what we want to keep uh, from the incoming changes. And when we are happy, we can click on complete merge. So the merge is done and now we need to create a commit and to push it. So we create the commit with this merge. And that's uh, after our uh, fix. So this was the first information that we uh, tried to push so far, not successfully. And this is the final version of the start JS file incorporated both the server version and our. Once we are happy, we can just push all the changes to the master. So we click on this button 
and everything will be uploaded successfully in GitHub. We can go there and if I refresh this page, we see our latest information here. That's very convenient because actually we can collaborate with other colleagues on the same uh, code. Of course, having the opportunity to review the code before pushing or pulling uh, just on blind. All right, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, you can subscribe to the channel.